Hi, Soumya. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, sir. I am perfectly fine and happy. Yeah, I know. Many congratulations to you. You made it Thank in the so first much. attempt for uh, NCC Special Entry Scheme. Thank, yeah. so Thank you so much, sir. Tell me, Soumya, how was your whole experience? Uh, how many people had reported, and how sir, many got signed sir. in? How many got conference out? Sir, it was sir, really it was nice experience. Nice. It was my first attempt, actually. So uh, I was the last batch to report the last day uh, on twenty uh, sixth of July. Two seventy three candidates uh, had reported, and out of which twenty uh, five of us got screened, and uh, two of us got recommended, which means twenty uh, three got conferenced out. Oh, uh, I was thirty four SSB Allahabad. Okay, so two hundred and seventy. Three. three reported out of that they retained twenty five. Twenty five. Don't you think that was a greater achievement than actually getting the you know salary yes. recommend? <laughs> yes, actually, sir, that was a huge achievement. I was sitting in the last row while they were calling out the chest number. I was so happy when they called out my chest number. I, uh, we have to shout our name and date of birth. I shouted so loud that everybody started laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's wonderful because you know in the NCC special entry scheme screening in is a bigger challenge because the That's reporting true. is so high and the retention is not so high. So yes, sir. you have to be really very good to be you know retained in the screening. Yes, sir. So tell me, uh, I mean you got screened in well, but uh, you were there in Afpa for fourteen days. You went through five PPNDT practices. Did you apply any of these uh, that you learned here, or you did what you felt was right? And sir, I'll be completely to the point. I uh, everything I learned in AFPA helped me helped me to get screened. And as you said in very the uh, very first lecture, that sixty seconds are, are the golden opportunity to get screened. And I didn't fumble. I I was confident and I was too precise while narrating. And uh, you also said that. Um, Take the initiative and lead the group towards conclusion. Yes. So I did the same thing when everybody narrated the story. Uh, I listened to every story, and I was the first one to take the initiative to speak up. So that I guess that helped me a lot to get screened in. So wasn't there a fish market? So it was a fish market. Um, means uh, at the starting when I initiated that uh, it was uh, okay, nobody uh, interrupted me. But in between, a lot of people started interrupting. So okay. it was a chaos there. But uh, in Afpa also, by the time you reach the fourth, fifth PPNDTI, yes, here sir. also you all create a chaos, right? Yes, sir. So you got used to handling the chaos. Exactly. Huh? Uh, everybody in our batch said that we are we have the most uh, in Afpa. I had the most aggressive groups of ten people who wouldn't allow anyone to speak. So I was actually used to it. I knew the atmosphere that how to tackle the th- how to tackle these things. When to say, when to stop, when oh. to listen. So it helped me a lot, sir. Great. So after you got screened in, you must have had your psych test. Yes, sir. The very next day in the morning. Psych uh, test. Six forty-five. Yes, sir. So tell me, you uh, what was your final assessment of psych test here in Alpha? What did, what were you told? You must also got a report. Yes, sir. So I was told to improve my quality in writing everything. I used to over means include extra things in the story which was not needed, so I just kept in mind that. And uh, after coming back from Afpa, I had twenty three days uh, for SSB, so I used to practice the tag stories which Afpa used to post for practice, and I used to then cross check that uh, in my report, academic report of Afpa, that is everything right. Or then there were few mistakes which I had to overcome, and it helped me a lot. Okay, and uh, how many VAT did you complete in the actual SSB? Sir, I completed all sixty VATs. And SRT? Sir, SRT score is little low. Means uh, lowest in our group. The out of twenty uh, out of twenty five people, I was the only one to solve thirty two SRTs. But uh, as you said, that quality matters, quantity doesn't. I tried to complete, uh, kept a target of forty five, but I only. Was able to complete 32, but uh, I made sure that I complete every aspect of the problem and give them a quality answer. Okay, that's not a very good number in any case. Yes. Anyway, so thereafter, when was your interview? Uh, Sir, the same day I was having my interview. Okay, 
and how did you do in the interview so for interview i already have prepared, practiced writing piq in my home only and uh, i made sure that everything i have written in piq i know everything about it for example if i write i am from nagpur or maharashtra so i should have uh, i should have knowledge yeah. of nagpur and maharashtra in every aspect so it helped me a lot in okay. interview and you are from ncc so i'm sure uh, you know you must have been asked uh, questions about ncc also yes sir yes sir that uh, ncc he related he asked very few questions related to ncc uh, and i was able to answer that also so uh, when you were in ncc did you also take part in the rdc or any other camp or anything any other activities no no sir i have i only i have only attended cctc camp once and after that corona was there so they took a camp online in which they used to teach us and tell us about the weapons i couldn't uh, try for rdc and tdc okay so any any aspect uh, in the interview where you thought you got cornered you got stuck you could not reply uh, sir in the whole interview i got stuck twice and i was roasted at that time i can say that so the interview asked me he was the president of the board he asked me that do you have any reading habits so I, i in the whole interview i have been completely honest with him i didn't uh, lie for anything so i told him no sir i don't have any reading abilities although i have read few love stories of duja datta so he asked me that uh, what about the newspaper reading habit well uh, no sir after returning from afpa uh, sorry after he asked me uh, before that have you taken any coaching or anything i said in that yes i have been in afpa Uh, commander natrajan's institute etc so i told him that after returning from afpa uh, i have uh, read news for over two days and again i stopped it so on that thing he roasted and grilled me a lot and asked me a lot of questions which where i felt pressurized a lot like questions like uh, that why did you uh, stop reading or why do you don't have the habit of reading so i, I told him that Uh, from the beginning i was not having the habit and it used to bore me i used to follow news on instagram and etc but newspaper reading uh, i used to feel that it is very boring so he said uh, don't you think it is a bad habit or you should develop this kind of habit so well, sir i know it is a bad habit and i am surely going to make sure uh, i make i am going to make sure that i start uh, developing this kind of habits okay so uh... I mean, I'm really surprised that after a few hours you did not read the paper or you did not follow the news. Did you did you not ask me any questions about current affairs and things like that? He asked me questions about current affairs, sir, and I was prepared for that. I had prepared current affairs all national, international news, so I I was able to tell him. Okay, okay, and uh, what was the second instance you said I was roasted? Uh, sir uh, in the piq i have written that i have been an uh, uh, playing uh, rugby at national level and i am the captain of nagpur university of rugby team so i was able to answer everything related to rugby and track and field so when he asked me to tell me the top 5 teams and their captains uh, i got stuck over there so it got it deeper and deeper and in track and field he asked me that uh, tell me after independence which players in track and field got into finals and uh, which place it was held and which year so i was able to tell the sport and the person who was into finals but i was not able to tell the place and the year in which they were there so okay. this was the two points where i got stuck okay and coming to the gto how how did it go so gto was very good uh, i had practiced it in uh, afpa already the four questions that where where to extend where to go where to fix the rear end so this this was actually the ramban ilaj to say uh, it helped me a lot so in pgt what happened is we were group of 10 and uh, i was the one who was taking initiative and it was really easy for me to uh, find the solutions in first two obstacles uh, i was the one who gave the solution by taking initiative and i was the one who was always there Uh, at the last who was waiting in the last that i'll cross in the last and i was all, i was the only one who was giving the solution to retreat me so what happened in third obstacle is uh, the group had gone forward and i was the one left behind so the group got stuck and thinking from the starting line i just got a solution and i asked him that would you like to switch i am getting the 
solutions so again i switched i got the solutions and this is how i also um, proceeded with third and fourth obstacle and for gto uh, lecture it in gd uh, i prepared all the topics uh, after coming from afpa that i i was very weak at gk i got that into report also so i just made sure i am not uh, lacking in that aspect so i studied and which helped me a lot in lecture it and gto uh, gd okay and uh, how about the command task command task sir uh, out of we were group of 10 and uh, i believe that he was uh, from uh, he was increasing the level as he was calling the person that the first one was getting an easy task and the last one would get the hardest task i was the last one to be uh, called to command task and i was called four times to be the subordinate uh, he asked me that uh, do you have a girlfriend ma like, no sir so he said do you have a celebrity who who you like ma like yes sir i like janvi kapoor so consider that uh, you have to that circle obstacle in which you have to retrieve something from the middle so he said consider that janvi kapoor's number is there and you will have to re- retrieve in 10 minutes uh, although you have a uh, time frame of 15 minutes you will have to retrieve it in 10 minutes so he roasted me a lot a lot means i was really so tense in it uh, that this has turned yellow Uh, sorry, this is turned blue, or this is turned red. Still, I was able to give him four solutions from uh, that particular obstacle. Then he said that uh, Janvi Kapoor is not so easy to get. So consider this whole obstacle as red and switch to another obstacle. So I switched to another obstacle, and where uh, it was quite difficult for me to uh, find solution, I still gave him two solutions. And in the uh, he said that it won't work, etc., etc. He was still grilling me, and I got stuck that badly, very badly. so gto asked me that would you like to take a suggestion from me so well, i said yes sir why not so he told me that just he actually he has taken half of my helping material i was only left with a plank and a z a welded uh, iron rod z so uh, he said that see if it's possible to fix the z somewhere on the above uh, can uh, it's, it was like a projection there so as soon as i saw that i was able to uh, make a bridge i solved the task in 12 minutes sir okay great so were you also asked by the gto if you had taken any coaching no, sir, the G- gto didn't ask me actually uh, i was pretending in whole gto that i i was not using the term like fulcrum cantilever okay. and all i was oh. just saying that fix the bell bell you or patta hoya so i was being normal so what i mean you would have still anyway okay you would have, you would have come to know that's okay it is not about these terms alone it is just uh, you know how you approach the task from there itself we come to know whether and you are a fresher so you don't really expect you to yes, know so much so if you have done well obviously you would have you know asked or it's his choice i mean think okay. not necessary that he has to ask Yes. So when all these tests were over, so what was your thought? I mean, you thought you'll get recommended, uh, sir. In GTO one, uh, on the second day uh, when we completed a psych, so I was a little bit of confident with psych because uh, it was nice, but I was in a doubt because of I only only solved thirty two SRTs. But in interview also I was okay in that it is good. But when the GTO one day ended, the next third day, I was quite confident that I'll go through this. and i might at least be considered uh, to get recommended but on on second day also uh, it was very good command task and also i was means sure like 80% that i'll be considered for recommendation great so the next day fifth day waiting for the conference outside the conference hall yes sir what was the thought crossing your mind so it was taking them too long to call me i was Uh, approx standing like 20 to 25 minutes outside the waiting outside the conference room and i was just sweating like anything i was very tensed uh, that what is going to happen am i going to uh, just find my way into it or not so after 25 minutes they called me i just got and sat there and as soon as i saw everybody i was i just started shaking i was too nervous at that time uh, so the the uh, deputy sir said to me that uh, calm down nothing is going to happen and he took me uh, it took 15 minutes for me uh, 
to give the complete con conference. My conference lasts for 15 minutes. So what were you asked in the conference? So I was asked that uh, rate your performance out of uh, 1 to 25 on a scale of 1 to 25 in every three things. I rated them and then he asked me that uh, at uh, how, many, how much percent you will have to increase in everything to re um, means take your performance to the 100%. So I answered that also. He asked me that uh, why are you cutting marks in every three means uh, the marks you are cutting, whatever the mistakes that you made. So I told him the mistakes and he asked me that were you able to answer everything in the interview uh, while you were interviewed? Now, I said no sir, uh, there, were, there were a few questions which I was not able to answer. So he told me which questions were you not able to answer. So I told him that these were the questions and he asked me the answers also. So after interview on the uh, second day, I there was a internet cafe in the campus. So I just uh, saw all the answers which was I was not able to answer. So I was prepared for that. So I answered him that these were the questions which I was not able to answer. These are the answers uh, to this. So they were happy and they asked me suggestions. I gave them two suggestions also. They asked me about my journey from home to Allahabad Center. And uh, they asked me that how did you prepare? So I told him that I have been to AFPA and uh, then they asked me that what were the things that AFPA helped you? So so I told him that uh, before AFPA, I was zero. I was not knowing anything uh, about general knowledge, how to proceed, in which direction to proceed. After AFPA, I got a clear line that where we have to proceed. I was uh, very weak at GK. But after returning from AFPA, I worked on it. And this is where I am right now with a few knowledge of GK. Okay. And uh, thereafter, when the time came for announcement of results, now what were your thoughts? Sir, uh, in our group of 25, there were already two people married out. So the sir came and I was uh, yeah, doing like this at that time. That let me, I was praying to God that please get me recommended and all. So he announced that we have recommended only two out of you. So I just lost hope at that time that I'm not the one who is getting recommended because there are previously recommended students already. So I thought they both were the one who got recommended. But the first chess number he announced was mine, chess number 12. So I couldn't answer after that. I, we have to speak out our name. So I was not able to answer. I just started crying. So he then spoke, I spelled my name that Soma Heman Gurde. So I, I, while crying, I said, yes, sir. It was a moment I can't explain, sir. Okay, they were they were very taught uh, from the NCC entry only, those two boys? Yes, sir. That was the NCC special entry. Everybody was from NCC. No, no. Those two boys who got merit out uh -huh. previously, they were they were merit out no, from sir. NCC uh, entry? No, no. One was from uh, CDS entry and other I don't know, sir. I didn't interact with Okay. Because generally the NCC entry, the, uh, you know, it's undersubscribed. Yes, sir. More frequencies I've, I've that's the number of boys who get uh, recommended. Yes, sir. So, well, very good. So, it's all done. Then, whom did you first inform about this? So, you my father. I called my father. So, uh, he, uh, he didn't pick up. I don't know why. Means he was not having his phone. Then, I called my mother. And she was uh, crying. She was in school. She is a teacher. And she just started crying. So, I was too happy at that time. I called everybody. I even okay. called um, you also that time and ma'am also. Great. Well done. Very good. Very good. So, uh, tell me you come from a civilian background. You don't have any connection with the forge. When did this thought come to your mind that, you know, this is one of the options that you could think of? Sir, so I'll answer the same thing which I answered in interview. He asked me the same questions. I told him in 8th standard being from CBSE school, NCRT books, we, were, we used to have pictures. At the last, this is where I saw the picture of ship, and there was written "Live like less ordinary." It, it inspired me a lot, so I just uh, digged a lot. That uh, what is forces? How how we have to go? I talked to few people. They told me that this is the process. So at that time, I decided to go into forces. I surely know that I am not a person to work from nine to five job. So this is the place where uh, I need to go. I like adventure. I like physical activity. So this is the place for me. And at what stage did you join the NCC? So in the first year. 
but why did you not try for the nda if that was so when you got inspired in eighth standard yes sir i tried for nda i couldn't clear it okay that was so, the reason the first year you joined the ncc you did not try for the cds uh, uh, ima etc sir i tried for cds also i didn't clear it you didn't clear the written examination yes sir okay and the, what graduation are you doing or you done sir i engineering in mechanical engineering sir i just completed it in june 23 june acha okay okay that's wonderful somya so uh, you know all set to join the oti i suppose let's see i mean uh, you know we just saw uh, of course that was today's merit list was uh, cds oti or the ncc yeah so generally the ncc merit list that i have been seeing the girls outperform they have very less number of vacancies but far too many girls get recommended but that's not the case in the case in in, in the case of boys so let's hope you know you are there in the merit and you finally get to join the oda Uh, so me one last thing before we you know close this interaction uh, one message if you would like to give to the future defense aspirants what would be that sir i'd like to say that be confident while ssb whatever you are saying be confident back it up with an example if you're trying to say that i am brave and uh, i'm resourceful to everyone so we convey this in with a confidence and be ready with an example your fluency your narration and your confidence while saying is all that matters i guess for it and honesty is the key sir if i speak lie i'll have to remember it if i am i'm being honest in everything so it is me i i won't have to remember it these are few things which i followed very true well uh, somya thank you very much it was wonderful interacting with you and on behalf of all the faculty and staff in afa i wish you all the very best thank you so much sir may you may you serve the nation with pride and uh, enjoy the on service career yes so i thank, I thank everybody our family for leading me towards this I'm too grateful for it okay all the very best and good luck jai hind thank you so jai hind sir